Okay, we're talking about subject verb agreement using regular present tense verbs and sentences according to the subject. So I have seven example sentences on the board. The subject comes before each of the verbs. The infinitive verbs are in the parentheses. And what I'm asking you guys to do as a class is to conjugate the verbs according to the subject. So conjugating the verb according to the subject is a process called subject-verb agreement. For example, in English, you wouldn't say you am, you say I am. You wouldn't say I are or you is. You say you know, I am, you are. You wouldn't say he am or she am. She am working tonight. He am intelligent. No. She is working tonight. He is intelligent. So we have to maintain subject verb agreement. All right. Here are the sentence prompts. Yo correr en el parque. Tú escribir una historia. Usted hablar por teléfono. Mis amigos tocar el piano. Mi amiga, sorry, mi familia y yo comer espagueti. Alicia y Raquel cantar canciones. And lastly, Ernesto y Eduardo estudiar biología. So first we want to identify the subject of each sentence and then conjugate according to the subject. So for number one, what is the yo form of correr? Corro. Muy bien. We drop the ER and add an O. Yo corro en el parque. And that means I run in the park. Now, even if you don't know what the phrase en el parque means, you can still conjugate the verb correctly. Dos. Tú escribir una historia. The subject is tú. So let's conjugate escribir for tú. What is that? Escribes. Yeah, I heard someone say it. Escribes. Tú escribes una historia. You write a story. Tú escribes una historia. Tres. Usted hablar por teléfono. Let's conjugate hablar for the usted form. What would that be? Habla. Muy bien. Usted habla por teléfono. And that's a polite way of saying you talk on the phone. Cuatro. Mis amigos tocar el piano. Tocan. Good. Yeah. Mis amigos tocan el piano. Mis amigos can be replaced with the pronoun ellos. They. Ellos means they. Mis amigos can be replaced with ellos. And the ellos form of tocar is tocan. So the sentence would read, mis amigos. That's incorrect. The sentence should read, mis amigos tocan el piano. Good. Número cinco. Mi familia y yo comer espagueti. Now, you don't want to conjugate for mi familia. You don't want to conjugate for yo. You want to conjugate for mi familia y yo. So, um, a pronoun that can replace the phrase my family and I would be what in English? We. Oui. We. Oui. Very good. And what's we in Spanish? Nosotros. Muy bien. Mi familia y yo. That's incorrect too. What in the world? I must have been tired this morning. Mi familia y yo comemos espagueti. Seis. Alicia y Raquel cantar canciones. Alicia y Raquel can be replaced with one convenient pronoun. What would that pronoun be? They, and in Spanish, because they're both female, the Spanish pronoun would be what? Ellas, good. Ellas. And the and ellas, and for the, uh, and the AR ending, would be an, and that's going to be cantan. I just saw how every single slide now is messed up because of that one mistake I made. Uh, that's just like Spanish though, isn't it? Uh, 
it all like lines up together and makes sense. Okay. Mi familia y yo comimos a spaghetti. Alicia y Raquel cantan canciones. And uh, lastly, here we have Ernesto y Eduardo. Estudiar biología. This is the same thing as we had here, but instead of the pronoun being feminine, it's going to be masculine. Ernesto y Eduardo, what's the pronoun that can replace that? It's they, but what is it in Spanish? Ellos. Yep. Ernesto y Eduardo estudian biología. And I got to go back and make, make that correction again. Yeah. Ernesto y Eduardo estudian biología. Muy bien. Okay. Very good. Algunas preguntas. Any questions? All right. If you understand how to do that, and you understand the verb ser, and you memorize your adjectives, and you're familiar with expressing likes and dislikes, you will do very well on the test tomorrow.